How's it going lads, Marshall here and welcome to another video on the channel today What we're doing is another foot champions challenge and we're using possible future FIFA icons So they could be the likes of Zlatan which you can see on screen, Gerard, which you can see on screen, Totti who is on the right hand side And I know the ratings are 92, 94 but those are the ratings of their FIFA 17 cards that we're using in today's video This isn't a rating prediction video, it's just a prediction kind of video challenge for the possible FIFA icons So in this video you won't see Ronaldo, you won't see Messi why? Because they are guaranteed future FIFA icons. I want to kind of explore the other ones that could be FIFA icons or could not be. And you guys, I want to hear from you in the comment section below. If there's any place I did miss out or have included that you thought, you know what, maybe he shouldn't be included on the list. So lads, if you do enjoy, smash your like on the video straight away. 1,000 likes is your target. And if you do want any cheap MSP, PSN or even game codes, head on over to g 2 Use that code MA9. Every single link that you will need is right there in the description below. So, as you know, FIFA 18 icons, they're going to include the likes of Thierry Henry, Ronaldo, I think that's Yashin, Pele, and Maradona. Those are the ones that's been unveiled so far. I can't wait, lads. I can't bloody wait. So, got me thinking for a challenge, I'll use possible. FIFA icon. So, this is the team in the background. You can see we have Ike Cassias in there. It's, he has to be, in my opinion, a future FIFA icon. He's a great goalkeeper still. I mean, he's been a fantastic servant to Real Madrid. The way he kind of got rid, well, not got rid, Real Madrid got rid of him was, uh, it was quite sad. He cried at the press conference and all that. But the Spaniard has to be a future FIFA icon, as is the right back. Philip Lahm. Now, this isn't the formation I play in game, by the way. I switched to the 4 2 3 1 or the 4 1 2 1 2, depending on uh, what's going on in the game. So, Philip Lahm for me, he has to go down as one of the best right backs in German history. And I reckon he deserves 100% a FIFA icon. The next one, I'm not too sure about, but you guys decide on Twitter. PK. Now, PK has won everything. He's won the World Cup, the Euros, the Champions League, the La Liga. I'm sure he even won a Premier League with Manchester United. Or he was part of the bench, or part of the team that did win the Premier League while he was at the club. Anyways, we have Ramos on the other side. Again, another questionable inclusion, as is the left-back, Ashley Cole. Now, he could be included. I mean... England's left-backs over the years haven't been great. And Ashley Cole with Chelsea did win a lot. With Arsenal, he did win a lot. He was a great left-back in his day. Now he's kind of on the downcline. Well, the downcline there. Yeah, the downcline of his career where he's not going anywhere. And he's not great, lads. He's not great in real life right now. Gerard has to be one. I mean, he's got this um, premium SBC, the end of an era SBC, which I've included many of them in today's video. He has to be included. Gerard and Lampard, they have to be, surely. They won a lot at club level, apart from the Premier League with uh, Steven Gerrard, but Gerrard did win the Champions League. I've got to put that out there. Lampard did very well. Iniesta has to be a future icon. I mean, he has to be a great player in his time, as was Xabi Alonso. He's got this end of an era, which um, I reckon they could possibly guarantee themselves future FIFA icons, whether that be FIFA 18, 19, I'm not too sure. But with Xabi Alonso's case, has to be included. Next one again, a bit questionable, Fernando Torres. Does he deserve one? Let me know in the comment section below. Again, alongside him, we have David Villa. Again, does he deserve one? Let me know in the comment section below. But that makes up the starting 11. We have Cassias, Lam, Pique, Ramos, Cole, Gerard, Lampard, Iniesta, Xavi Alonso, Fernando Torres, and David Villa. Quite a lineup, that. Quite a lineup. Then on the bench, Gianluigi Buffon has to be included. In my opinion, one of the, the goalkeepers of the century. I mean, at the time when he moved to Juventus, he was uh, the most costly goalkeeper on the, in the world. So I reckon uh, he's got to be included. He has to be included. Next one is a bit of a dodgy one. Dirk Cowd. Does he deserve to be included? I'm not too certain. I'm not too certain in the slightest. But he did get this end of an era card, which is why I've included him in the team. Wayne Rooney. Of course, he's just recently moved to Everton. I reckon he should be in with a shout. The next one is a guarantee, in my opinion. Francesco Totti. He has... Wow, what a career he had, and he's got to be in there. I mean, he's one of the most loyal players in football, if not the most loyal player in football. He's been in every single FIFA since FIFA 96. 
Surely, surely he has to be included in the next FIFA member, whether that be FIFA 18 or 19. He has to make a comeback in terms of being an icon. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Again, one of the unanimous names in football. He's got to be included. Samuel Etso, again, he had a great career. 98 foot birthday card. Thiago Silva. Does he deserve in there? I mean, he's been in the team of the year multiple times. He's been a, a great player for Brook Brazil, Paris Saint-Germain, AC Milan, a cracking centre-back, Bastian Schweinsteiger. He's in with a shout, definitely in with a shout. Of course, in the MLS, as is the next man, Didier Drogba. I want him to be an icon. I definitely want Drogba to be an icon. He would be great. John Terry. Does he deserve one? Does he not deserve one? He didn't get an end of an era at SPC because he didn't retire. But does he deserve one? Let me know in the comment section below. Perlo definitely deserves one. As does Kaka. So that is the team. Like I said, no Ronaldo, no Messi. Because they are 100%. Guaranteed to get one in the future, in my opinion. So, if there's anyone I've missed out, let me know in the comment section below. But without any further ado, let's get into the gameplay. So here we go. Now we came up against some amazing, amazing teams. This one isn't one of those. He's got Musonda at sentiment. He's got Lucas Leva in there. And I thought, you know what? He's gonna sub them out straight away. They're just in there for chemistry. He actually kept them on. Kept them on for quite a while. As Iniesta plays the ball in behind. David Beer tries to shoot it, rebounds to Gerard. Gerard is the first player, this future icon, to score for the club. And he's going to score the second for the club as well. As we win the ball from the goal, kick a nice header down by Xavi Alonso, who's playing CDM. He owns that position, by the way. David Villa goes down inside the area, wins the penalty. Gerard will step up, bang! Back of the net, straight down the middle. I don't normally go down the middle. I normally go bottom left, but I thought, you know what, Gerard, he's got the power, I'll just go center. Next team. Wow, wow, he's gonna change formation straight away. He's got Kante at striker, which I've never actually thought about doing that. But that is a clever, clever move. Change of formation in game is very clever. Sona will go striker in a 4 1 2 1 2. Sona actually barges his way through the whole team. Nice stop and turn, and he finishes it with a plant to make it 1 0. Nine minutes in, 35 minutes in. I win the ball. It's David Villa inside the area to Gerard. It's not even Gerard. Back to Villa, and Villa makes it 1 1. Nice assist there. From uh, the guy that wasn't Gerard, it was Fernando Torres, but as you can see, unfortunately I took him to penalties and I did lose on penalties. Patrick Vieira scoring a winning penalty and again. In the next game, I came up against another Vieira. Now in the foot champions, you don't only come against too many shit teams, they're always very, very good. This one is no difference, but we ran right. David Vieira playing it down the line to Ashley Cole. He's gonna drive that across all the time. Iniesta makes it 1-0. Now with Iniesta, I normally bring him off. I know I had the team of the year in Easter, but sometimes he just wasn't good enough for the team. So I'd either bring on Slatan Ibrahimovic, who you will see later on, more and more so, or Samuel Etzo, who has the four star skills, similar to Ibra's. Gerard Scales, another one. He's been the top goal scorer so far, scoring goal after goal after goal. Again, I think he won the ball in midfield there. He's, he's just a great player, lads. I mean, if you haven't done this, Gerard, what are you doing? Do Gerard. Do Lampard. Lampard doesn't really have the stamina, but he will score goals as he does score there. This is Gerard on the ball. A failed back heel, but Alonso winning the ball back beautifully. Fernando Torres plays it out wide to Lampard, who gets his second of the game. A nice low driven finish there into the bottom corner. He did cause that opponent to rage quit. So now I think I'm kind of 2 1 in terms of record. And my next opponent does have Zlatan, the same Zlatan I've got on the bench, who will make kind of more appearances the later we go into the games because Iniesta just wasn't cutting it. Gerard on the ball, tries to power his way through. Via finds Gerard. That is a lovely finish. Kind of finesse on his weak foot over the top of the keeper, into the back net, in off the post. A nice little finish from Gerard before Hazard skips past his man, plays in Zlatan, plays in Alonso, and Alonso puts it in the bottom corner to make it 1-1. Before he comes forward, Anthony Martial inside the area cuts it across Hazard makes it 2-1 lads here we go and unfortunately we do take the loss I mean it's a loss I couldn't avoid I tried my best in that game I just couldn't pull it back now with a lot of these players towards the end of the game so the older players they run out of stamina very very fast and this team is no difference as my opponent makes it 1-0. Now this game is a weird one and you'll see why in just a short while. Sturridge goes through, Sturridge makes it 2-0, he presses start, 
Why is he pressing start? Because straight away, he readies up afterwards. He's pressing start to make me quit. I don't like that. I don't like that in the slightest. So, we bring it back to 1-2. Before we go forward yet again, Xabi Alonso plays it across. Ashley Cole inside the area. That is a penalty. Who's going to step up? Steven Gerrard. And I do go bottom left. I do score and make it 2-2. But what does my opponent do? He comes forward straight from kickoff. And the Herrera on the ball. Inside the area. Bottom bins. What does he do? He presses starts. I mean, this guy was a twat. Basically, he's a twat. Pressing the start to make an opponent quit just isn't very good. Isn't very cool. I make it 3-3. What do I do? A bit of payback. I know what I want to do now. I want to beat this guy so damn desperately because he's desperate to beat me. I press start on that one. I press start on that one. I come forward yet again in extra time because it is extra time. Slats and Ibrahimovic, can he make it 5-3? Of course he can. What do I do? I try to press start, but I've run out of starts. So I pressed it like 3-3. I pressed it 4-3. He's actually put the controller down now. So I've won this. And I rainbow flick the goalkeeper. Normally, I would have just like passed that in the back there because it was a 1v1. But I thought, you know what? He's put the controller down. He's been a bit of a twat throughout the game. I'll rainbow flick the goalkeeper. Next opponent comes up. It's the 119th minute. Plays the ball inside the nine goal line. Nine goal line to Dembele. Dembele near post finish. Cassias. You've got to be doing better than that, mate. You've got to be doing better than that. So, we lose another game, unfortunately. My next opponent has a stacked squad, including Team of the Season Dembele in a red form. It's Sergio Ramos, Alonso to David Villa. What a ball that is to Fernando Torres. What does Torres do? Stops the ball, cuts it across. Gerard Miss kicks the ball. David Villa wins it back, rounds the goalkeeper, and makes it 1 0. 21 minutes in. Before 36 minutes in, Lampard's cross, Zlatan Ibrahimovic's header. Like I said, later on in these games, you're going to see more and more of him because what I was doing was bringing him on at Cam or at striker. Then Fernando Torres and David Villa be on the wings. As Fernando Torres does well, cuts it back, and Ibra scores another goal. In off Kante, that one. Next up, we come against another possible icon in Francesco Totti, who did make an appearance early on, and he did score. He did score. He's a great player in this game. His stamina just ruins the card. Danvi inside the area. Gerard gets another call. He's been surprisingly a very high goal scorer for the club. As uh, Samuel Etzo, I was going to say Totti because Totti's on my mind, cuts it back. Fernando Torres makes it 2 0 late on in the game. Happy days, lads. Happy days before he comes forward straight from kickoff. El Shadawi's short and it is tapped in by Dabao to ensure a nervy finish. But we go on to win that game next up again. It's another crack inside. And he's got striker Ronaldo, the 96th one. SBC Modric, who I just recently did. I didn't do him over footless, but I've done him now. And I'm happy I did because it gives me that option, maybe in Fatal, maybe in future kind of videos to use the card, which I've never used on this game. As Ronaldo goes through and he makes it 1-1. I was thinking, this guy's going to win. This guy's going to win. I mean, he's got the kind of steam behind himself. Lampard, though, has other ideas. He makes it 2-1, celebrates, and we win the game. I didn't expect to win that game in the slightest. He had a very good team, as does my last opponent with Van Basten, Lukaku, Del Piero, Deli Ali, Kante, and Kevin De Bruyne. It's David Villa, however, plays in Gerrard. Gerard one on one with the keeper. Can he score? No, he can't, but Fernando Torres can. That kind of ex Liverpool connection. Before another ex Liverpool, Xabi Alonso bends it in like Beckham or bends him in like Xabi Alonso. A cracking free kick. Zlatan Ibrahimovic plays inside the Torres. Torres to David Villa. What a finish. He makes it 3 0. 71 minutes in. 77 minutes in. My opponent comes forward, and this will be the last goal of the episode. Lukaku put it into the back of the net. So I think I've done quite well. So let's get into the stats. So here we go with the stats, then, lads. And as you're about to see on screen in like 3 2 1, the current standings. We didn't actually do too bad. We scored more than the past and present Newcastle team. One more to be precise, 24 goals scored. Goals conceded the exact same at 10, and the goal difference was plus 14. Now, in terms of wins, we won seven with two rage quids. Not too bad, but we did pick up three losses, which some of them were bloody, I mean, they were last minute, either in the 119th minute or penalties, which uh, did piss me off at the time. They could have went either way, but unfortunately, did go against me, and uh, yeah, fair play to the opponents for doing that. The win that I kind of did highlight 
was uh, the six free win against the guy who kept pressing start at two goals up to try and make me quit in the game. It didn't work, and we went on to win 6-3, which I was very proud of. Next up is the top goal scorer, surprisingly, Steven Gerrard. How many did he score? He scored five. Lampard comes in at number two. How many did he score? He scored five. Zlatan Ibrahimovic comes in at number three. How many did he score? You guessed it. Five goals apiece for every single one of them. Very, very important performances from both Gerard Lampard and Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Top assist goes to Torres, then David Villa, then Gerard, who makes another appearance. And by no surprise, Gerard got the most man of the matches. Coming in at number one, number two, David Villa, who played a very important part. And at number three, Frankie Lampard. So, in terms of the leaderboards, Newcastle past and present stays on top. Now, we're going to rank this by the number of wins because over 10 games, you can only get a maximum of 10 wins. So, we're going to max it by wins and after that, go scored. Then after that, goes conceded. Then after that, goal different. So, you can kind of see a pattern here. Or, we'll go goal difference, goal scored, then goals again. Something like that. So, in terms of the rankings so far, Newcastle past and present, number one. Winning two more games in the future icons who won seven lost three scored 24 more than the Newcastle past and present conceded the exact same and uh, yeah got one less rage quit so that's gonna be about it for this video lads you've seen the team in the background right at the very start it performed quite well I mean I had one player off chemistry and that was uh, Sergio Ramos team of the year it doesn't really matter with him the rest of the players were on cam, so it really, really doesn't matter. And the team actually did click in game. Like I said, I switched formation the 4 1 2 1 2 or the 4 2 3 1. And like I said at the very, very start of the video, no Messi, no Ronaldo. They are guaranteed future icons, in my opinion. So these are kind of the best of the rest. So let me know if I missed anyone out in the comment section below. And let me know if you did enjoy this video. So that's going to be it, lads. I hope you did enjoy. And if you did, smash the hell out of that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new around here. And as always, I will catch you all next time.